I really do think that the health at any size, the fat acceptance, you know, movements are really detrimental. And I think they're killing people. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking that link. This was so not going to be the first video for my channel, but here we are. So the Swell Avengers wanted ordinary obese people to make videos or, or tell their story about what it's like being obese and, and the things you face. And, and it could really be preaching to the choir, um, but this really is a pushback against the health at any size, the fat acceptance, and the body positivity movements. The, and, and that last one's been usurped uh, because that really wasn't about obesity. It was about things you couldn't change, you know, if you were in an accident and you had scars or you were missing, you know, a limb or something like that. And let's talk about what it is to be obese. I have about 100 pounds-ish. When I started, about 100 pounds-ish to lose. This is like 30 pounds in. <laughs> so lost 30 pounds. Um, but I felt like I was out of breath a lot and in watching the very first video I did for this channel, I sounded like I was out of breath to me. And maybe I sound that way now, I don't know. But that's how I sounded. Um, and I know for me, pain. You know, I wasn't in constant pain, but when I got, got up in the morning, I was in so much pain that I would have to sit for 15 to 20 minutes just kind of waiting for my back to start feeling normal again. And I, I felt like my back was being like pulled out, like my gut's too big and it was pulling my back out of alignment. So I, I would sit at the kitchen table like this, just waiting for my back to release and, and, and then I would be able to go about my day. So long gone were the days of just jumping out of bed and running outside and, you know, taking care of the animals and just, you know, being real active. So the other kind of pain that for me is way worse than that back pain was, was migraines. The heavier and more out of shape I am in, the more frequently I get migraines. And I know some people, you, you'll run into them in the office or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, I have such a migraine. No, 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 you don't know. My migraines are debilitating. The only thing I can do is go lay down and hope that my medication takes effect, which, which I'm lucky for the most part, my medication does work like it should, but I know a lot of migraine sufferers, their um, medication doesn't work as well as it seems to work on me. I went as far to get this piercing to try and try and uh, alleviate my migraines. Uh, another thing would be balance. I feel like I didn't have very good balance before, especially, and I feel like working out has helped that. Uh, not so much losing weight. I guess maybe losing weight would obviously help that as well. Maybe not obviously, I don't know. But I feel like I have much more balance. Like, <laughs> Like before, I mean, it, it's kind of embarrassing. I would have to put my hand on something to be able to put my pants on. So I'd get my one leg on, but then to put my other leg in, I would have to lean on something because I didn't have good enough balance to actually put my foot in my leg in there. And that's really kind of embarrassing. Now, as for my overall health, uh, other than the migraine medication, I take no other medications. I am the poster child for the health at any size because at 100 pounds overweight, I am actually in decent health, metabolically speaking, um, but it is a matter of time. It, I am a bit of a ticking time bomb, you know. Um, I am 43, soon to be 44. And I feel like when I became 40, everything started to fall apart, you know, like my whole pain and everything. I guess that's probably because I was overweight when I became 40. <laughs> um, but I, I feel also, you know, 
just just fearful because I do want to live and you know you'll see in my later videos that we discovered that my husband has some health conditions that that are going to make him incapacitated in some ways and it falls to me it it falls to me to take care of this place because yes my channel name is fat chicken a barn and that's where we are right now well yeah barn find <laughs> so we we made this crazy move to to you know live a different lifestyle we moved from the city to the country so that we could you know grow our own food you know grow our vegetables and our you know livestock and that we're going to take care of the you know unfortunate butchering of said livestock and harvesting of our our you know vegetables and our fruits and this way we know what went into them you know we know from you know putting that seed in the ground to eating it on the, the table what went into it and i guess we're kind of like back to the landers but we didn't know of my husband's health conditions until we moved up here and it's kind of too late now we've, we've gone too far into this life to be able to go back and i'm okay with that because i really did want to get back to living this kind of life i forgot airplane airplane so when i went to europe at when i was trying to get home i the the flight from stockholm to london heathrow was a little short flight but then the flight from london heathrow back to the states there was like a 30 minute layover i thought it was like an hour and a half but it was more like 30 minutes because my first plane had been delayed so much so i thought i was doing better physically i did and then i had to run through the airport dragging my luggage behind me and i will tell you right now I have more work to do. That was that was rough. And I got to the plane and I'm sweating and I'm red and I'm just <laughs> And the the nice girl in front of me was like, "So did you have to run?" I'm like, "Yes, I did." And I'm so glad that I actually had been doing some physical stuff, uh, you know, working out and everything before I had to run to catch the plane cuz I wouldn't have made it. There's no way I would have been able to run as far as I did, even though, you know, I was a, it was a struggle for me. So, with that, alright, so my health is okay. Um, it's just frustrating to me that I can't do the things that I used to do, that I want to do. A big thing for me is being able to get on my horse. Um, because being obese, that just makes the saddle turn. And so, it, it's really, and I feel uncoordinated too, which I think comes with being obese, but trying to, to mount the horse is just, it's laughable. I'm sure it's hilarious to watch as I'm trying to get on and the saddle's starting to turn and I'm trying to get up there before the saddle turns. Fortunately, I usually get up there, but you know, it's just silly things like that. They're just, that's so frustrating to me, you know, like, Facebook has all those little ads on it of all these pretty dresses and I'm like, you know, while I could buy that dress, it is not going to look like that on me. So just, just silly frustrating things. You know, I mean, sure, wear whatever you want to wear, but I would like it to look a certain way and it's so not going to look that way. So there's another thing for you. But really bottom line is health. I mean, you owe it to you right there you right there you owe it to yourself to be as healthy as you can be yes some people are born with health concerns that they can't help you know that that happens it's unfortunate but they can be they can try to be as healthy as possible and that's all we can do is try you know that's all we can do and and just just in losing 30 pounds and beginning to exercise has, in, I feel like, improved my life dramatically. I feel like I have more energy. I mean, I can definitely do more things. I can stand up and do the dishes without my back spasming. I can, you know, stand there at the laundromat and fold my laundry without, you know, having to brace myself, you know, after a while and, and stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's huge, I think, you know, instead of 
throwing everything in a bag so I, you know, in the laundry basket so I can get home and then fold it while I'm sitting down. You know, I, I think it's huge and amazing to be able to do things like stand to do the dishes, stand to fold your clothes, you know, or to help my husband. We put up this, this brick wall in our um, kind of patio area. I guess it's patio in the, the house that we're building. And literally, I could stand for about 30 minutes because I got the joy of mudding. So I, you know, brick in one hand, trowel in the other, and slap the mud on and then hand it off to, you know, someone to put it in the wall where it needed to be. And after about 30 minutes, my back was hurting. And maybe, maybe 40 minutes, my back started spasming. And I mean, I guess that's all I could really call it is a spasm. It's just this sharp pain that just kind of paralyzes me. And fortunately, I never had it happen where there wasn't something I could lean on because I think I would have just kind of fallen over otherwise. So just beginning to work out just five days of walking, five days of walking for 30 minutes a day completely reversed that for me. And I don't know why anyone would rather just eat junk food and not be able to get up and move around. I don't understand that. I don't understand how somebody can say that. I really don't. That, it, that it's okay. It's okay to uh, incapacitate yourself. I mean, there's, there's something wrong with that, I think. You know, I mean... And I, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I think there's something wrong with that thinking. You know, I, I believe obese people shouldn't be discriminated against. We, we shouldn't be made fun of. We shouldn't be look, looked over for jobs because it's perceived that we're lazy. But really, I got this way because I am lazy. Because I didn't get up and I didn't move, and I ate junk. That's how I got this way. So, perhaps there's a little truth in that stereotype? Maybe, maybe only in my case. Could only be me. But, I really do think that the health at any size, the fat acceptance, you know, movements are really detrimental and I think they're killing people. And they're coming at it from the perspective of, oh, we're so oppressed because we're obese. You realize that in 2012, that's when it all reversed, or at least in some article I read, that's when it all reversed, when being obese or heavy, overweight, became normal. And the two thirds of people were overweight to morbidly obese, and only one third of people were fit. So really, we obese people, we outnumber the healthy people. And that is really not a good situation to be in. Definitely not for our country, definitely not for our children. I didn't mean to get real serious there, I, I but it's true. It's true. We can make the change. We can change this. We can be the change we want to see. You know, we can be. And I think the fight is worth it. So I'm going to keep fighting. And I hope you join me. With that, see you next week. Air hugs.